too can get amazing shots like that just from this. I mean, and your camera, you have to have a camera, hold on. Welcome back to another installment of things I bought on Amazon that might interest you or be a good gift. That name's actually kind of growing on me. I first got a slider and uh, it was kind of cool, but I never use this because it's just so much of a pain in the butt to use. And then I bought this little skate thing thinking it would be really cool to have on a desk to just kind of get some cool creative shots with it. But even with this, it's not very great because you have to have really like steady hands. And so some of those shots weren't as epic as I was hoping they would be. So I've actually had my eye on this for a little while now, but some of the reviews looked bad. I wasn't sure. And then I finally ordered it. It's a newer three wheel wireless camera video auto dolly with a remote. The first thing I noticed when I pick it up is, man, this thing is solid. I thought it would be like lightweight, cheap plastic or something like that, but no, it feels heavy and it has good quality. It has three wheels, one with a motor powering it and the others that you can adjust to get that perfect angle for your shots. It has a screw head attachment that can be used with a quarter inch or three eighths built in rechargeable battery and the remote that you can use to start and stop, change directions and change the speed. And you have three different speed modes. And that's basically it. And it's not bad priced around 70 US dollars and 82 dollar dues. That's for my Australian viewers because I actually live in Australia. Hi mate. What's a good word? It says newer on it, but this thing isn't new. It's been out for a little while. I actually didn't realize how many reviews there were on YouTube already. So since I got this thing, I've just been playing with it in a bunch of different ways. And in a little bit, I'll give you some tips on how to get some great shots with it. But I also wanted to mention that this actually works with the newer slider. Like it will sit on top of the slider and we'll work on that. I don't have that yet, but I'm anxious to try that out. Also, I should probably mention that this isn't sponsored by newer or anybody. I literally went out and bought this with my own money and wanted to share my experience with you guys. And if you want to help this channel out in any way, uh, you can click the affiliate link to this down in the description. It doesn't change the cost of it in any way to you, but maybe I can get a few pennies out of it and then maybe that adds up and then maybe I can dive into it. And also, if you know anybody that's kind of interested in this kind of gear, please share this link with them. Okay, so some interesting insights and tips into this thing. One, using your phone isn't great. I know that seems like defeats the whole purpose of this, right? But it's something with the image stabilization. It just kind of looks jittery. It does not look good. I even tried to add extra weight onto it. I even tried third party software where I can remove the image stabilization. And I did this shot like 20 times on different modes, speeds, frame rates. And the final result, I found that it looks best with 4K60 on just the regular camera app, but using the higher speed of this. And then maybe you can slow it down in post. Now I'm using an iPhone 10 and maybe the newer ones are better. I shared some of the footage with my friend Xander and he bought it straight away and he's got the latest iPhone. So I'm anxious to see his review on it to see if he could fix that problem with his iPhone. Uh, I'm gonna put a link up to his channel and you could check it out. I used it with the GoPro and Hypersmooth and it looks really good. I think this would be awesome for outdoor product shots. But the best one of all is using my a6500 and my Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 lens. As soon as I tried that out and played back the footage, I was freaking out how good it looked. And then I took it around everywhere and I was just getting all these shots because I was like, this is so cool. And if you didn't know, I do a bunch of tech reviews on this channel and I actually have a bunch of tech reviews to come. So I thought this is gonna be so great for some of those product shots, you know, just for fun. Now, if you want more of the specification, like how much weight it holds and stuff like that, just click the link down below and it has all that information on there. Okay, and now three things that I wish that they would have included on this thing. It would have been nice to include maybe some extra weight or I wish they'd have just included a screw thread right here so that you can have your own weight and you can screw it into that spot but also you can hook maybe a light to it as well. The other thing I wish they would have added is maybe like a super slow motion. So speeds one through three, they are different, but one is not that slow. So imagine having one like very slow so that you can actually get like outdoor time lapses where it moves like at a very ridiculously slow pace. If somehow they can include that in future versions, that would be awesome. And the third thing I'd wish they'd add is like trying to adjust these. You can visually see it when it's straight but it's still kind of not that straight. It'd be nice if it was just like, you know, as soon as you get it to that middle part, it was like 
So for me, I'm happy that I bought this thing. I totally recommend it. I'm giving it five stars. I would probably give it a lower rating because the phone looks like crap, but I think that's just the phone. Also, if you know somebody that likes to get creative with their footage, this would be a great gift for them. If someone got this for me, I'd be like, that's awesome. Thank you. All right, well, that's it for Ty Boat My O Bag. You know, things I bought on Amazon that might interest you or be a good gift. I really should write a jingle to that. If you do have any recommendations for products that you'd like to see me review, please let me know in the comments. I got a lot of videos coming up and hopefully I will see you on the next one.